Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my December update to the Pan Those Eyeshadows Project Pan. This was created by Alexi, and I do have her listed down below. For this year, I've also decided to use Lainey's prompts. She came up with a list of 100 eyeshadow prompts. There are some duplicates in it, and she does have a separate list with the duplicates taken out. I am using the list of 80-something prompts with the duplicates taken out. I do have a Lainey link down below, as well as a link to the list of prompts that she has used. I've thoroughly enjoyed using her prompts. It makes choosing eyeshadows a little bit easier. It allows me to choose exactly which eyeshadow I want. Like if I get a blue shimmer, I get to choose the tone of the blue shimmer. And so I've really enjoyed using her prompts. So let's go ahead and get started like we always do with the color story. This is what I've been working on over the past month. This top shade right here is the Glam Light and Kellogg's Frosted Flakes collab. This is in the shade Go Getter. This is from the Juvia's Place, the Violets palette, shade number four. This is from the Beauty Bay Midnight Nine Color Palette in the shade Sky. This is the Be Perfect Emeralds Palette in the shade Aqua. And this is the Too Faced Papaya Pop Palette in the shade What's Up Beaches. So let's go ahead and get started. If you remember my last update, I wasn't wearing any makeup and I still did my update just to show you the progress I have. I didn't have any eyeshadows that could roll out at all. So I have been working on this color story for at least the past couple of months. So the one that has been in here the longest is this blue shade right here from my Glam Light and Kellogg's Frosted Flakes palette. This was for the prompt a matte blue. As of the last update, I had used the shade Go Getter 27 times over this past month. I do use it one more time, and as you can see, I hit pan. I did mention in last month's video that I felt like if I was able to wear it one more time, I would hit pan, and I did. So I am happy that I finally have a pan in this palette. I have 28 total uses on this, and this can now roll out of the project. The next prompt that I got was something from a mainstream brand, so I chose Juvia's Place. I chose to work on the Violets palette in shade number four. As of the last update, I had used this 16 times, and over the past month, I've used it an additional two times, and this is it right here. I definitely have a dip going on, but I'm not quite at pan yet. I'm hoping I can have pan in this for the next update. That was little boy letting me know he wanted to go out of my room, so I just let him out. What I was gonna say about this purple eyeshadow is I am actually wearing this shade on my inner corner today. I've worn it several times as an inner corner highlight. When I've done purple eyeshadow looks, I also put it here on the inner portion of my eyelid. It is a beautiful shade, and I'm loving working on this. The next prompt that I got is a shade that you want to pan. So I chose this Beauty Bay Midnight Nine Color Palette working on the shade Sky. As of the last update, I had used this eyeshadow nine times, and over the past month, I've used it three more times, and this is it right here. I definitely have a dip going on, but I am nowhere near pan. I thought I'd be closer to pan than I am. I'm not complaining. This is a shade that I wanted to pan. It goes beautifully with my Pan Matte palette. It has this turquoise blue in it. You can probably see in this look right here, and then I take this blue and I put it on the inner portion of my eyelid. The two of these work so well together. So I love working on this shade right here. 12 uses so far. Maybe I can have pan in this for the next update. The next prompt that I got was a matte green. So I chose this Be Perfect Cosmetics East Emeralds Compass of Creativity palette, and I chose to work on the shade Aqua. As of the last update, I had used it three times. And over this past month, I've used it an additional three times. And this is it right here. You can barely tell that I'm using it. Six total uses, and it still looks pretty new. This is going to be one that's gonna take me a while to hit pan in. I'm wearing it today. I started off with the lighter blue transition shades from my Pan That palette, and then I started with a little bit of green. You can't see it very well, but I did blend it in there to give this look some depth. So six total uses on that. And then the final prompt that I got was starts with the letter W. So I rolled in my Too Faced Papaya Pop palette and I chose to work on the shade What's Up Beaches. As of the last update, I used this three times and over the past month I've worn it twice and this is it right here. You can tell it's being used, but I'm not quite near pan. These are very shallow. I think if I use it another five, maybe seven times, I will have pan in it, but I haven't gotten there quite yet, so five total uses in this eyeshadow. 
As you can see, my usage numbers are low and that's because I couldn't wear makeup for a while, but I'm still happy that I have one eyeshadow pan, so it is time to choose a new shade. I have all of Lainey's prompts on the Tiny Decision app, so let's see which one I get to work on. Okay, this is shadow that starts with the letter O. So let me look through my collection and choose an eyeshadow to work on, and I'll be right back to show you the new shade we'll be adding in. Okay, that took a minute. I don't have my eyeshadows listed out pan by pan, so I don't have a list to see what the names of the eyeshadows were. So I was literally opening up palette after palette. I did find one letter O, but it was a matte green about this tone, so it would have competed. This is the second one I found, so we're going with it. This is from Odin's Eye. This is the Norns eyeshadow palette. It is beautiful, and I have not used this one. And the letter O that I found in here is this one right here called Optimism. It's a beautiful shade. I feel like that will go with a lot of the eyeshadows that I'm working on. So let me give you a swatch of it. It is a very pale gold color. This would be beautiful as an inner corner highlight. That's it right there. It doesn't show up very well, but that is gorgeous. I could wear that with a lot of different colors. So this top one is going out and this is my new color story right here. I'm excited to work on it. I haven't hit Pam before in an Odin's Eye eyeshadow, so I'm excited to see how long it takes me. At least if I have hit one, I don't remember. <laughs> I think this will be my first Pam that I will hit in that. So I'm excited to work on this eyeshadow formula and see how long it takes me to hit Pam. I know typically a lot of people will have the finale for their Pan Those eyeshadows in December, but like I said before, I wanna keep this going. I am loving this color story right here. A lot of these colors work really well with my Pan That palette, and so I wanna keep working on them. I feel like I will be able to hit Pan easily in this light purple, this light blue, and this one right here. So I'm just gonna keep the momentum going and see how long it takes me to hit Pan, and I'll just keep this going into next year. I'm enjoying working with Lainey's prompts, so I'm not gonna change anything and just continue this. I will be back sometime towards the beginning of January to give you an update, let you know if I hit any pans, choose new shades to work on. I'm not quite sure which day of the month I'm gonna be doing pan those eyeshadows. I have new projects rolling in that I'm starting. So we need to look at a calendar, write down every single project pan that I have coming up and decide what days I'm gonna post updates for each one of these. So sometime towards the beginning of January, I will have my next update. If you don't wanna miss out on any of that or any of my other panning content, plus I have inventory coming up soon, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.